Last time on the Model Remodel Show, we were pulling fans out of boxes and putting them in the house. The bath fan went above the shower unit, and then Ben installed the supply fan in the basement. He played a Rubik's Elbow ductwork game before sealing the seams in the ducts with mastic. The Air King Q-Fresh supply fan pulls in fresh air and pushes it into a distribution box in the attic where it supplies various rooms with fresh air. The Q-Fresh fan will be synchronized to a constant low flow exhaust from the range hood giving a balanced ventilation system for the tight little house that is Professional Remodelers 2017 Model Remodel. This week we're going to get out of the basement and get up on the... Um, hmm. Seems like no one's around today. Hmm. Well, okay. We'll take this opportunity to look back at the project from the start and get a sense of some of the smart, energy-efficient detailing on this tight little house. We began late right out of the gate due to a late winter snowstorm. We were hoping to have this project started about four weeks ago. Um, initially, we had started out hoping to keep about two-thirds of the structure, the future bathroom and laundry, we knew was going to be coming off and the section where the new kitchen is going to sit, we thought that, that would be coming down uh, to foundation. Over the winter, as we kind of came in and did a little site survey work and looked at the building a little bit closer and started to weigh some costs, um, the amount of time that would have been soaked up in that process quickly started to outweigh the cost of going down to bare foundation. So they methodically cut the house into pieces, chained it to the machine, pulled it apart, and set it aside, beginning with the roof plucking up the walls and removing the floor. Going down to the foundation also means that air sealing is much easier because it's basically new construction above the foundation. Because of the humpy bumpy foundation, they used extra thick mud sills to span the valleys and corners to provide a rigid base. After the mud sills were shimmed level, the masons filled the gaps with grout. A few steady days of rain set us back again, but Ben showed up anyway to lay out the floor frame. One critical place for air sealing is the floor frame assembly, because everywhere that two materials join is a gap that will leak unless it is sealed. Ben seals the rim joist to the mud sill with adhesive, and then he seals the corners as long as he's at it, bedding the rim in glue. Subfloor adhesive is sometimes left off at the perimeter because the floor won't squeak under exterior walls, but that creates one of those continuous gaps that leak. So Ben hits the perimeter before adding subfloor. Here's a recap of the airtight floor system. There's a sill seal gasket between the foundation and the mud sill. The rim joist is bedded in glue atop the mud sill and at the corners. Zip's subfloor adhesive seals the perimeter and the Advantech subfloor caps the assembly. Next, we'll frame walls on top using Zip System's R12 sheathing sealed to the foundation, bridging all those gaps, and taped at the corners and joints. The exterior insulating panels are another energy smart step. They allowed Ben to step down from 2x6 studs to 2x4s with almost no heat loss penalty. The panels are located to bridge all of the framing gaps down to the foundation and they're sealed to the framing with silicone. The zip system panels go up like any other sheathing except that they require extra long nails, which may need to be special ordered, so make sure you're good friends with your mail carrier. Ben is a fan of Zip System's thick R panels. We've used the Zip R3 and R6 a number of times on various projects over the years. We're big believers in exterior insulation. Um, putting the, the thermal control layer on the outside of your framing makes a lot of sense. So we're really happy to get our hands on the, uh, the R12 panels. That's where we're going to break off on this episode, and we'll come back next time with four more energy smart strategies on the roof, in the windows, and around the ducts.